Jazz Red Talk Show. We're up here at uh, we're at Harvey Automotive. Oh, y'all in for a treat today. They have some nice vehicles. I'm looking at putting my eye on one that's a top down. They got some nice vehicles. Uh, Harvey, what's going on? Harvey Automotive. Everybody blowing at Jazz. Harvey Automotive LLC. It is at 3250 College Hill Road, Alabama. Wow, 251-725-0232. We're going to show you the office. All right, y'all. Y'all know Jazz Red like show and tell, so we going in. We going in. We got the office open 9 to 5. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red. We're here with Harvey Automotive, LLC, Operation Manager. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? All right. What's your name? My name is Sarah Hall. Well, Miss Hall, I'm going to tell you, when I came in, I noticed that blouse, that <laughs> lovely blouse you got on, that beaded blouse. I love it. Uh, that's bad. I'm just going to have to ask for that. But anyway, we are. Um, what, what is your job here? I mean, I'm seeing you sitting here at the desk with your laptop and... When they first come in, they're going to see you. That's right. All right, if y'all want a car, y'all got to come in and talk to, what's your name? Sarah Hall. We got, we got to come in and talk to Miss Hall. Y'all got to come in and talk to Miss Hall. We will show you another office because we don't want y'all to get confused. They've got two offices, but this will be the first one that you, uh, that you come to, unless you want to stop where the cars are on the lot. How you like working here? I love it. Wow. I had retired for many years and I just came back to work and I feel like I'm really part of something that's really on the go. And you got it right. You got it right too because look, y'all got a car out there. I was looking like, Jazz, look at retirement. Top down Mustang. I said, wow, that look like a car. You could just let your hair blow and you ain't got no cares and ain't nobody, you know, ain't a lot of people can ride with you, but if you want to put some girls in there with you, that's old and I said, man, that's a retirement car. That is a nice car. But anyway, we'll show you out a car a little later on, but uh, I, I just want to thank you for letting me interview you and they'll be coming to see you first. Thank you. All right. We're going to show you some vehicles now. Jazz and Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, we've got a Chevy Equinox. Now, that's a 2013. That thing is clean. That thing is clean. Y'all got to come up here to Harvey Automotive and, and, and give it a wing. Give it a try. Test drive it. You're going to love that. Wow. Now, we're going we're gonna to get uh, one of the workers up here to open that door to show you that inside. That thing is clean. It's ready. All right. We're going to go on the inside. We're going to show you the inside of this car. Wow. Jazz Red Talk Show. This is a sh inside the Chevy Equinox. Look how clean this is. Wow, look at that. Woo, we finna show you. We doggy, like they say. I like that. That thing show up. Let me show you the back seat. Jazz Red Talk Show. Look at here. Look how clean this thing. Man. Man, I want my car to look I want my car to look like that. I forgot I'm using the microphone. Look how nice and clean this is. Oh wow, Chevy Equinox. What what year it is? You say, sir? 2013. Wow, we're gonna show you the back. How you like that? Look at that. Look at the back. Look how clean it is. Wow. I want my truck to look like that. Wow. Look at here. Y'all gotta come get this. Jazz red. Peace out. We showing you it as Harvey Automotive. Harvey Automotive. Let's show you another one. Wow. Harvey Automotive. Jazz got to show you the motor. Jazz and a lost some man. Man, he had raised hood. Look how clean this thing is. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Jazz Red, we love you. Harvey Automotive. Come up. Wow. 2014 Chrysler. How you like that? Huh? Clean. We're going to show you the inside right quick. Jazz Red, we love you. 2014, here she is on the inside. What's in that? What kind of car it is? Uh, Chrysler 300. Chrysler 300. Jazz learning these cars today. How you like that? Look how clean it is. I'll show you the back. This baby is ready. This is a Chrysler Maroon. Come up to Harvey Automotive. Y'all got to come up to Harvey Automotive and take a look at this car. Y'all got to take a look at it. It is nice. We finna do another one. Jazz Red Talk Show, we got a Cadillac, Cal Jazz Red Talk Show, I got to talk in the mic, we got a Cadillac DeVille 
2005. 2005. How you like that? We're going to show you the inside of this baby. 2000. 2000 and what? 2005 Cadillac Seville. Well, look at here. Wow. Okay, that's the inside of the front. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the back. Jazz Red Talk Show, it is clean. I mean it's clean. And they ride so good. Wow. Harvey Automotive. Boy, representing the day. Look at that. How y'all like that? Wow. Jazz, I like that. I, let me shut the door here. Y'all will see a little of me. <laughs> Jazz Red, we love you. We're going to another one. Jazz Red Talk Show 2014 Camaro. How you like that? 2014 Camaro. We finna show you the inside. Y'all see the inside of that? Com Com what is it? A Camaro. I got blowed away because I'm just looking in the inside how clean it is. Wow. How you like the inside of that bad boy? Isn't it clean? Y'all got to come out here. Now I got to show you the back of this car because the back is so nice. Wow. Wow. How y'all like that? Y'all going to drive off into the sunset with that Camaro. We're going to show you another one. Jazz Red Talk Show. We had this just rinsed off right now. Rinse, rinse off. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all like, what is it, 2014? Uh, 2015. 2015 Toyota. Toyota Corolla. Corolla, wow, look at that. Man, that thing is clean. It is ready. It is ready. It's ready. It's ready for you. We're going to show you the inside. It's ready for you now. Wow. Phone number going across the screen where you can call Harvey Automotive, 251-725-02. Three zero. Let me show you the back. Jazz had put her eye on something out here. I got to go and you know look at this. Look at here. Wow, isn't it clean? I'm gonna shut the door and show it to you now. I love my TV viewers. I go out the way to make sure y'all see what you want. Y'all got y'all at the home shopping neighborhood right here on Jazz Red Talk Show. Wow, come out and see them. We're gonna show you one more car. Jazz Red Talk Show. Look like we got somebody in the car. I'm going to try him. Jazz Red Talk Show. My eye been on that Mustang. It been on this Mustang. What year is this? 2005. 2005. Wow. My eye been on this here. I told them they ain't got it. They ain't got, you can detail later. I want to look at it. I want to look at this. Wow. All right. When Jazz come back, let me just take a look at it here. Jazz, where are you going? Jazz, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. yeah, what you doing? Man, I'm finna, this car's so dirty. I'm finna put the whole car in this bag and get me another one out here. Cause it's, it's filthy, ain't no way. You can do nothing with this car. Ain't no way you can do nothing with this car. But matter of fact, I'm gonna show my TV viewer. Now if he can clean it up, I'm gonna take it home. If he can't, I'm gonna have to go in debt. I can't do nothing with this car. I, I was trying to get it in here. It's just a little too big. But, but I, I figure if I put a few of them together, I might get it. But anyway, we're gonna show the car. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, I'm showing the inside of my car. The only way I keep this truck, man, is some of these. Look at that, look at that. I, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, Y'all know I have three businesses and work in the shipyard, and my car is dirty. It is filthy. We finna show you the front. Jazz Red Talk Show, that's the front of my vehicle. It's bad. It's real bad. It is dirty. It is filthy. But this young man had cleaned it once before. My son had got him again. He told me, I'm gonna let it get messed up again. Yeah, right. All right, we're gonna show you the back. Y'all see how bad this car is. That is Dirt City back there. Wow, look at that, I must have had an orange right there. Oh man, my car is messed up. I think it looked better with all the stuff in the young man. But we're gonna, we're gonna introduce you to the young man that's gonna be cleaning this car and he do detail in here. Jazz Red, we love you, peace out. All right, young man, I, I done got her up here. I was wondering, could you do anything with her? Yeah, it's rough. I, I can do something. I can bring it back. Though. Yeah, you you say you can bring it back. I can bring it back. I guarantee I'll bring it back. Wow. All right. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Vic White. And you up here at uh, Harvey's Automotive? Yes, ma'am. Doing a uh, custom detail. Wow. 
it's gonna be custom with this one, so we gonna see how it's coming out. Okay. We gonna see how it's coming out. Jazz Red, we love you. Let the young man, uh, I'm like, I got me a book. I'm gonna go drink some coffee and sit down. Peace out. He looking at it, he thinking about it. <laughs> Jazz Red talk show while they finishing up my detailing, waxing and everything. This is a, Chiv a 2011 Chevrolet, Chevrolet Tato. Chevrolet Tato. I am really uh, excited about this truck. It's a nice truck. We're going to show you the inside. Let me show you the back of it because it is so clean. Look at here. Look at here. We're going to show you the inside and show you just how clean it is. All right. She looking good and smelling good. It's clean. I mean it's clean. This is leather interior. Uh, it's power. Fully loaded. Wow. All right, show you the back. This thing is clean and it's got room. It's got room. Wow. We're going to show you the back. What we got here is a third row. So you see it's folding down. You can raise it up or fold it down. It's got a third row. That's a lot of room in this vehicle here. A lot of room. All right, we're going to show you another. What you got here is a 2014 Chevrolet Equinox 2014. How you like that? How you like that? All right, we're gonna show you the inside of this one before we get to my detailing and y'all seen how mine was looking, but we're gonna show you the inside. Man, when I tell you this Chevrolet, 2011, right? 2014, this thing clean, look at here. Look at that. It's ready for you to come and get. God, it is nice. Oh, that's nice. We're going to show you the back. Oh, wow. It's clean. It is so nice. Show you your back room. We're going to show you your back room on this one. Wow, they got some clean cars up here. Look at the room you got in the back here. Your tie go up under there. Look at that. You can't beat that. You got to come out to a uh, Harvey automotive the phone number has been going across the screen they're gonna do we're gonna see if they did some miracles with my my car wow jazz red talk show boy that looked like a new car <laughs> wow i mean it was it would look like it was about to rust on the top look at that look at that wow this young man got this thing. open the door there young man mm -hmm. open the door there young yes, man. man yes ma'am wow wait a minute where the, the rug in there? <laughs> it's the same one. Huh? Oh, where the flow man? Oh, they in the, uh, they in the trunk. They in the trunk, okay. Wow, look at this flow. Look at this flow. He done clean all this out, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this look like a new car. <laughs> it look like a new car. It was, I, I don't think I'm going to have to put it in the garbage, in the garbage uh, bag, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, can you see that? Can you see the difference with that car? Now we got a, wow, that back had, uh, had a stain on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gonna show the back. That back had a stain on it. Used. That back had a stain, a bad stain. Look at that. Look at that. My car look like it's new. Yeah. And it's, it looks good. It smell good. No eating in my car. And we gonna get him to keep it up. <laughs> Cause I can't take it no more. He really worked hard on this. Uh, tell him again where you are. Where you are located, young man? Uh, we are uh, Harvey Automotive on College Hill Road. On College Hill Road. Mm -hmm. he, it, it's nice. He did a great job. I mean, this car was skint up. Yes, it was. Wow. My hat off to you, young man. Okay. Wow. Ain't no nah. Wow. Dad's got a little tip for him, too, because he, he really worked on this car. Man, look at my, let me see my front. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, look at that flow one more time. Wow. That flow one time. Wow. If y'all want to get your car detailed, bring it on out here. I'm finna put this thing in the trash can. Wow. Look at that. I was gonna throw that car away. <laughs> I guess I'll keep it now. Jazz Red come out to uh, Harvey Automotive. Phone number been going across the screen. Give me that number, Danny. What's the number? Give me that number. What's the phone number? 725. 251. 725. Uh-huh. 0230. 0230. Oh, I'm proud of my car now. 
No more eating them. We're gonna come up here every two weeks and get it clean. All right. Thank you, young man. Thank you. Jazz Red, we love you. Red Talk Show. We're at Yellow Door Vintage. Get ready, because Jazz is finna take you somewhere. Wow. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. I'm on. I'm on. Jazz okay. Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red. Wow. I just met this man. I, I am. It's so. I am, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Now I've done my shopping. I've been around, ladies and gentlemen. I want to tell them. Tell them about the store. Well, uh, welcome to Yellow Door Vintage. Um, a little bit of everything. Yeah, we just have a little bit of everything. Tell them about we got four vendors here. Yeah, I can you, talk to you. you. All right, yeah. talk to them. We talk to them. We've got shop about 600 square feet, but we oh. got five vendors in here. Mark's wow. one of them. He's wow. my partner. He helps me out. We're also expanding over next door. Okay. Um, we just opened in September. Just so opened in we're September. Just brand new. Congratulations. Really what we're just taking it one day at a time. New business owner. We're both new. Where, where are you located? We are at 158 South Florida Street. Across from Silver Horse Pub, right there in Midtown. Okay, well, we're going to show them some of your items. Jazz Red, yes. when we come back, we get your popcorn, you in for a treat. <laughs> All right, Jazz Red Talk Show. Y'all know we don't, we jump right in. We jump right in. Look at here. Uh, they have a lot of vintage things. We have a model. They have a lot of vintage things. We're going to show you some items. Here we got wow. some lava lamps, you got vases, you got books, you name it, it's in here. Oh, look at that cabinet. Now the cabinet isn't for sale. I believe it is, and this is our mid-century modern booth. Yeah, pretty much everything in here is for sale. It's, everything is for sale yeah, then, because when I go somewhere, they always saying, no, how do y'all no. like that old lamp? Wow. Oh. Wow, yes, we're gonna show you the other one. Wow, let me let me show some of this stuff. All right, Jazz Red, we've got jewelry. They've got jewelry galore. Oh, look at that! Look at that! How y'all like that? How you like that? Wow, look at that! Look at that perfume bottle. Whoa! Wow, we're gonna. Oh, I like that. I like that. That could be. That could be like you jewelry. I had your money. When nobody think you got no money up yeah. in that. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show. This is James Cagney as a young man. It is for sale, ladies and gentlemen. James Cagney. Wow, I love him to death. He can dance. Can sexy Red. too, boy. <laughs> All right, we showing this jury down here. What have we got down here? Hold that black up. Look at that black. How y'all like all this? Wow, look at that. Look at oh, that. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. Come on, let's get it still. All right, all right. How you like that? That is beautiful. We're going to show you some lamp. Jazz Red Talk Show. How do you like that lamp? It is tall. How do you like that? Wow. How do you like that? And I know your eye on all this other stuff. Look at here. Look at here. Look at these chandeliers. Look at that chandelier. And it got candles you can put on it. Wow. Oh, man. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. That is a little case made into a table. Wow, they y'all got so many nice things. Look at here. Look at here. If it's something you your mom might have had, mm -hmm. something that uh your aunt might have had, or you might have broke something, you make it come in and come find something that match. Yeah. Oh, they got pictures and everything. Wow, it is so nice. I want to show that ball. How y'all like that ball? I know y'all seen that. Wow, that is beautiful. I looked at this table and I was saying, it's a suitcase table. It's made and it, it's a suitcase she table. She made that. That Damn is so that. odd. Awesome. Uh oh, look what they got. Look what they got. Oh, oh wow. I'm trying to get into. Look at here. Let's How do y'all like that? It's a bar. It, girl. It folds down. Watch this. Wait a minute, girl. Look at this bar. It even has a key still. So they got the key. Oh, that's antique there. Somebody better come get that bar. I ain't got no room. I ain't got no room. Jazz ain't got no room. But somebody better come get it. So and then also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you want to hide okay. your alcohol from your in laws, just sit down. Oh, that is beautiful. You can hide they it. Won't the they won't be big. Wow, they can't even see it. Wow, they've got some things it's in here. It's a must have. Wow. How do you like that? Wow. That is antique, ladies and gentlemen. That's old. 
Well, I seen some of the young movie stars are doing some of their furniture in in, yeah, in uh, antique furniture. Yeah, they're getting into it. Wow. Wow. Oh, do y'all like, know about this? Uh, they say you can put pies on it and you can fold it up where your pies store. are cool. Wow, they've yeah, got they've got jewelry, baby. Though. They got all kind of jewelry. You just gotta come in here and dig. I love it. It's set up so nice here. All right, we've Thanks. got another vendor. Her name is Jan, right? Yes. Ooh, Jan got some jewelry. She makes a lot of. She makes a lot of jewelry. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Come on, now, Jazz, see that? Wow! Look at that server. Mm-hmm. She's got some That looks things. silver there. Wow! Y'all looking at this? Wow! Cause y'all know Jazz had the eye for the antiques. I love mm -hmm. all that. Wow! I come up in a house with it. What is that? That looked like an ink stand or something. Wow. Oh, look at that. I know one of y'all, your grandma had that in your house. Got some old pipes where if you wanted to sit a prop up. Wow. Look at here. She's got some some sunshades. She got some got sunshade. Some purses too. She's got some vintage clutch purses. Clutch purses. She's got some vintage clutch purses. Y'all got to come. What's the name of it? This is Cat's Meow. Oh, this shop is the Yellow shop. Door. Yellow Door. Yellow Vintage. Door. Yellow Door. That's what I want y'all to remember. Oh, wow. That chest Look at that chest of drawers. Wow, I know that. I know that. That's where you used to put your wash basin mm -hmm. up top, and you can hang your clothes over on the side. How do y'all like that? Everything in here is for sale. If you see something you like, give us a phone number, girl, while I'm showing. Yes. 251 mm -hmm. 622 3601. Wow. 622-3601. Just call me or text me. That phone number is going across the screen while Jazz Red is filming. They've got some odd lamps. You will never... Look, girl. Girl, look. That's an odd lamp. But look at this teapot. Woo! Wee doggy. Boy, that's like a home home on the range. I like stuff like that. Man, I am having fun up in here. I'm having fun. We're going to show you some more stuff. Jazz Red Talk Show. This is another vendor here. Have you seen that nice gentleman when you came in? What's your name? I'm Mark, and I'm also the co-owner. Okay, car on. Look at here. Look at here. How y'all like that? That that is what you put your spoons in. And people travel. They would buy spoon. That's a case. Wow. When you say, look at here. Look at this lamp. How y'all like that lamp? I love lamps like that. Look at that. That is so beautiful. Oh. That's a jewelry box? That's a music box. Oh, it's a music box. Way oh. Oh, that is so beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous music. Wow. I mean, every everywhere I turn is something. Oh, we got the Orano, darling. We got Orano up in here. Look at here. Oh, this is a, a marble table. How y'all like that marble table? Jazz into that kind of stuff. Look at here. I like that lamp. Oh, look at the little man pulling the little. Oh, here we got what's up, pussycat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like stuff like that. Man, everywhere I turn, he's got something different up in here. Oh, look at this light. Man, look at that. My grandma had one of those. My grandma had one of those. That is antique. That is so old. Uh oh. We got to show you the glass. Here we have some flutes. This is entertaining Duchess set. This is a Duchess set. Six flute. It is so beautiful. The camera is not doing anything for the beauty on these glasses. And you, they're only $15. Yeah, you can't beat that. You can't beat that for $15. Wow, we're going to show you something else. Jazz Red Talk Show. And this is a it's vintage desk. A vintage desk. Tabletop. Look at that. Look at where you put your letters and stuff. Man, it got some stuff up in here. Wow. Wow. I'm hoping that you all, this is on sale for $30. Look at that. How do you like that? It is so beautiful. You definitely wouldn't put that outside. It has, unless you have it in your front table and then take it back in the house. It is so beautiful. It's on sale for $30 because they ain't going to be there when you wake up. Jazzeria Talk Show. Look at here. Jewelry. I'm talking about oh, what? Oh, they look like the 70s. That black oxy. I love that. Wow. They, he has some nice stuff up in here. Not only jewelry. Oh, how you like that? 
How you like that one? Chiquita Banana look like Nicholas there. How you like this pocketbook? Wow, that is so old. Isn't that beautiful, lady and gentlemen? The phone number is going across the screen. Please be giving them a call. Jazz ain't come out here. Oh, that is old. Jazz ain't come out here to show you this for nothing. How you like that jacket? That jacket is beautiful. Now, you know that choker is antique there. That is antique. Look at it. How y'all like that? She even trying to swing a little bit for you. Wow, I love that. See, that wall handle about in him when I'm filming because he's back here trying to lay it. But it's okay. Wow. I, I'm just, uh, oh, that blue. I wanted to show him that blue. Oh, Jazz is going to do some zooming in. How you like that? How do you like that? Isn't that blue beautiful? Wow, that caught my eye. It is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the detail. We're trying to zoom into it. How do you like that? Oh, uh, y'all got to come get some sales. Wow. Jazz Red Talk Show, I, how do you like that? That is so beautiful. And, and the big butterfly and two butterflies on the side. All this stuff is for sale, ladies and gentlemen. Jazz is not bringing you in here where they say, oh, that's just a prop. They'll say, oh, what is this? What is the mom and papa? Now, if they need some place to put their dentures, we have her and he has chompers. Ch oh. Great present for your arm. Um, oh, that's for your mom. teeth. Yeah. Wow. For your teeth, his and her Chopper, I have never seen anything like that before in my life. That is so cute. We Oh, look, you know something? That is all right there. That's old. That donkey, you see that donkey with that whiskey bottle Donkey, there? donkey, donkey. That donkey. is old. And you know, is that that plate, is that, no, who is that? We're going to look on the back of that plate. I wanted you to look at this plate, and we'll turn it over and see what it says. And that says, okay, but you can come in and buy that plate. That is Spanish or something. I don't know what that is. All right. You can and it's it. only $5. $5. Wow. That is so cute. Jazz Red. We're going to do an ending and we'll get the owners back again. Wow. Jazz Red Talk Show. Upon leaving the Yellow Door Vintage. All right. They're going to give you some information on their store look like i'm coming over because we got buses and everything coming behind you all but if you all will speak up we can get it sure. all right this what's your name my name is pamela field and this is mark stewart my bff and we have the yellow door vintage store so come see us we're uh, on florida street in midtown near imogene by catholic social services across from midtown pub silver horse we're open wednesday through sunday and we have a cool market the third Sunday of every month. Third it's Sunday of every Batman month. Batman Train Express food truck. Wow. Uh, I know Batman. Yeah, Batman's awesome. He's our friend, and he come, he's he been here with us from day one, and he serves up some bad food. Nice That's food. That's good food. Yeah. I was about to say bad word. You can't even close the box. Yeah. Wow. Can we, can we get a phone number? My phone number. Okay. Our phone number is 251-622-3601. Okay, and if there's any other numbers, any other vendors, y'all can get in touch with them yeah, we give them one number that's a great thing jazz red we love you thank you red talk show and i'm your host jazz red yep i gotta get a hot water tank put in and we got mr red man drain how you doing today mr doing red man drain fine. how you doing all right he finna hook me up i know I, I i'm tired of heating water and y'all know hot water tanks cost six hundred dollars y'all know that yeah. wow so we got this young man helping out here uh Jazz ain't gonna tell you she paid no six hundred dollars. Y'all better go to Facebook yard sale. <laughs> you know, red man like putting them new things in, but I just couldn't afford it. Uh, shout out to the man that sold me the hot water tank. For, he gave me two for one, so I took the other one to Mississippi. We're gonna show you his truck now, and we're gonna let him go handle this. Peace out. Jazz red talk show. I want to tell you what they show you what he working with. Girl, look, I'm getting everything to my boy. I took a couple of day vacation to uh, straighten things out. Um, Red Man Drain Cleaning. 251 605 8962. Look at that. Look at that truck. Look at that truck. He has $60 specials. Man, if, if anything wrong with any of my plumbing, I am calling him. He was saying, Red, well, we get a new man. Let me tell you something, $600. With everything else I be doing, I found me one on Facebook yard sale. The man gave me two hot water tanks for one. 
and I said, I know a young girl that tried to help me get one on Facebook, and she stayed in Mississippi. I took it to her. So I told her, I said, for, for trying to help Jazzy find one, I remembered you. So I'm bringing one to your door. So she got a hot water tank, and she was hooked up way for me because I had to wait on Red Man. I don't let anybody. I stopped that, man. You can't just talk about let, uh, refer somebody and then you get them referred and then they still gonna mess your stuff up. So I'm I'm telling you somebody on my show that is gonna do you right and not gonna mess over you. He's not gonna mess over you. Uh, drain sewer. Let me tell you, he also have the camera inspection, inspection, uh, line location, leak detector. This is who you call. Who you gonna call? I ain't calling nobody but him. I'll wait. I'll wait. If he booked. Ain't nobody else touching no plumbing in my house. That that dead dog ain't gonna hunt. 251-605-8964. And uh, when he finished, we'll come back with the CEO and he'll tell you about his business. Man, look at his truck. Look at that. Man, this man got the lines and everything. Cause he had to go on top of my house when I had to uh, get a leak unstopped. He had to go on top of my house. Cause I ain't have a trap on this side, but that's all right. When there's a wheel, there's a way. When we come back, we're going to let the CEO of Red Man Drain come and talk with you. Phone number going across the screen. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, we here with the CEO. I told you I was going to get it. Now, you done got me hooked up. Yes. I ain't got to boil no more water now. I got my hot water tank hooked up. All right, uh, tell them uh, about yep. your business. This is Red Man Drain Cleaning. Uh, we mostly do a lot of drain work. Uh, we're, we're one of the top companies in drain business and mobile. Uh, you can reach us at uh, 251-605-8962. We're on Facebook. Uh, you can Google us. Uh, we mostly do one day service, emergency service. If you stopped up that day, we're gonna get you that day. So sure we'll do. just uh, give us a call and give us a try. Uh, 605 uh, My name is Mike. And you know something, Mike, I appreciate you because it don't take you long. Yes, man. Because I was saying, man, I need to go fill out the tags. I got a lot of stuff to do. He's talking about, oh, I'll be done. I, I come back and he he, he has uh, put it together. What make you have so much confidence in your work? I know, but you tell him. Because I, I, what make you have so much confidence and, and you able to do it and go? Well, the thing of it is we got this big truck here, so we got like a little warehouse inside. We got pretty well much all the tools and everything, all the parts that we need to work with. Wow. So we don't have to run back and forth to load. So that cuts down a lot of time. So we uh, make the customer happy. Uh, we call them and let them know what time we're going to be there. And we pretty well much try to be on time and get in and out, get them parts and get that um, whatever needs to be hooked up or unstopped. Uh, we go ahead and get it done right away. And tell them about your camera you got. And we got uh, we got the camera system. If your drain stopped up and your drain broke underground, we can run the camera in there and locate that and find uh, exactly what the problem is. So you won't have to get a whole new line. You can just fix the one little problem. So wow. we can locate that problem. Uh, we got line location and we also do leak detection. And if you got a slab leak, we can find that uh, problem for you wow. on the slab. Uh, pinpoint where it's located at and uh, also uh, mark it for you so you can just fix the one spot instead of having to do a whole reroute thousands of dollars we can fix it for a minimum price for you wow mm -hmm. wow so we already packed up and ready we got all the parts on the truck everything we need to do right on the truck ready to go to work and they be calling you too they and i know you got to go to another another thing i heard it all he right. got to go yes man. thank you so much yes, for my hot water i ain't got to borrow no more hot water y'all y'all jazz 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 didn't have it man you know hot water tank six hundred some dollars I found me one, though. God bless me. All yeah. Right, man. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, Ms. Red. All right. Y'all get, get that phone number out again. 251. 251-605-8962. How my little boy doing? Everybody doing fine. All right, then. All, All right. right. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red. Y'all know that. I hope y'all can see me. Y'all know that I got to run this camera and film. Uh, I want to should do some show and tell. Let me show you some proof on how I be doing things. Okay. Y'all know I work. Let me get the men out of my mouth. I'm like people too gum. Y'all know I work as much as I can. Um, 
this is a public awareness I wanted to do too. Some kids throw some bricks through my bay window and my side window. I have an alarm and I've got everything in straight. But uh, for your children, this is in the Tormanville area. We were already on defense mode because some young guys were targeting older women. Um, they didn't get in because they, they were kids. I found out they were children. When it's dark, your young boys and young ladies need to be in the house. And I know it's 530, but I'm sorry. They need to be in the house because your babies could be out doing things and and they don't even know who they doing it to. You know, they threw bricks through my window. Not that I'm all that. I know what they did to Jesus, but y'all know how many people I helped. Uh, I t behind that, I couldn't understand. And and when I was told that it was children, because I told the police take fingerprints, come and press charge. I do too much to try to help people and that happened. But when I found they were children, I said, well, I'll do my own little investigative prompt and I'll find them and I want to talk to their parents. Their parents can't pay for the bay one that I had fixed. Their parents can't pay for me upgrading everything I need to upgrade to make sure I catch their little butt. I just want to talk to them and stop it. I want to talk to the children and stop it because if they're young and they're throwing bricks, then what's coming next? Huh? What's coming next? These were babies that did this to me. They were children that did this. Hey, girl, I had some bricks stowed in my window. Hold up a minute. Let me talk to her. Don't think Jazz ain't telling everybody that these are children that are throwing bricks. I let them know in the neighborhood. Uh, our, our houses is like shotgun out. They about that far away from each other. So they picked a time. They have been scoping. I want you to be very careful. The children are watching so, so, so are the adults, but some of these babies can get hurt. So Jazz would just want to try to nip this in the bud. So I'm letting you know that in the Tomovia area, there's some little boys that are throwing bricks. They're trying to get in. They were too little. They'll have a plan to have a ladder next time, but who you know going to wait to see if that's a child. Soon as they hit in that, in that one, y'all know what's going to happen. So we're trying to stop crime. I've been talking about it. We've got some men that's going to come on and tell you some things, too. Um, I wanted to show you what I'm finna do. Now, I took my Facebook page down. Uh, it, my Facebook friend, most of y'all are kind of positive, but you got some friends that kind of, you know, hang them, cut them, kill them. I don't care, castrate them. I, I got tired of it. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, I got a lot of other things going on, so I don't need Facebook. So behind them throwing that brick, I had said, well, Maybe I need to pull back and evaluate myself, you know. I'm, I'm front running with trying to help so much. Um, I need to pull back and check me. So I got to the job, and it was before time to go to work. And I, and I got a phone call, and it said someone referred you to me. And the gentleman sounds sick, you know. I can tell when you're elderly and sick because I'm old. He said, I'm, we need some food, and they told us to call you. I immediately say, where are you? Tell me what you can eat. Are you a diabetic? Is there certain things I should or should not bring? I got on the phone and called Reverend West. Reverend West is going to get him some. So I called Carrie Coates today. I took a vacation because I got to get some brakes on my car. I need to be safe going down there. But I called Carrie Coates. She said, Red, come by and get some money. You can get them something now. So I got to get a ride. So I'm finna call somebody to pick me up so I can go out here and pick this money up. Then we're gonna stop by Coles Brown and get two dinners because I want them to have like a little candlelight dinner tonight. These people are in a hotel. When they gave me their address, I said they need help. So I'm not asking y'all to help. I mean, I'm not asking y'all to help. I'm just gonna show you how I do this. Even though my car ain't going nowhere, I'm finna make a phone call so I can get somebody to help me. In a minute, I'm going to come back. Cause I'm, I'm going to have to do some rolling. In a minute, I'm going to come back. All right, I was telling, I've was i been telling all my neighbors how they are throwing bricks through the window. I'm going to call somebody and get a rat. Oh, uh, Jazz is like show and tell stuff. I love show and tell, but I I need a rat. I got it on speakerphone. Hopefully, y'all can hear this, but you'll hear me talking if nothing else. You'll hear me talking if nothing else. 
Hey, regulator 911. Girl, I need a ride. I got to get some brakes on my car. It's uh, somebody at the hotel and they need something to eat. So, I need to go and preach it and pick up something. Then we go into Coles Brown and get them a plate of food. Coles going to get that. I already know. I'm just going to ask. And I'll pay tomorrow. Uh, can you come, come get me? Okay. So, you know there's no problem for me to come and do that? All right. All right. I'll see you when you get here. Okay. Thank you, girl. All right. You're more right. welcome. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see how how folks will help me help other people. Cause I ain't wanna move this thing. I know I need to get my breaks because I gotta go to work. But okay. Um uh, next next when we come, we're gonna be picking up something. We're going out to Pritchard. Uh Miss Carrie Coke's gonna give me some money to help this family so I can go to the Dollar Tree and pick them up some things because if you're in a hotel you can't cook. And we're gonna get them something hot to eat. Uh when we come back we'll be at uh Carrie Cokes, Jazz Red, we love you. We doing a show and tell today. Now, they throw the bricks through the one of the lady that's doing all this. Keep your cheering at home at night, baby. Somebody gonna hurt them. Keep them at home. Keep them at home at night. It's too much going on right now. And, and, and we just don't want to be bothered with no mess. So, keep them at home. Keep them at home. All right, when you see me, I'll be at Carrie Cokes' house picking up some money so we can go to Dollar Tree and pick these folks up some stuff. Well, they have something neat, okay? I move my hand like my ball lady. I better cut that out. She be wearing them hands out. <laughs> All right, Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, and uh, I told y'all I would come to pick up some money from a lady. What's your name there, sis? I am Carrie Coates. All right, and she talk a little soft. We're going to get her to speak up. Okay. Well, what, tell them what you do, because you do a lot in the community. I'm, I'm always, if I need something, I'm calling Care. Care knows so many folks, so many organizations. Tell them, tell them how you know all them folks about what you do. Well, we've been out here for 15 years, over 15 years. Name an organization. Uh, we are Kingdom Covenant Connections. Wow. And we do a lot out here in the community, uh, anywhere from homeless children to the seniors to the youth. You know, because we're connected connected to so many organizations yes. we're able to touch so many people wow. so we are thankful for what we do and the many years that we've been out here and uh, we do need more volunteers the more the more manpower we have the more we can reach yes that's right so we we do need help out here we have a great problem out here we have home op almost 3,000 homeless children that's in our school system. What? I know nobody talk about that. Wow. But uh, we, we have a, a group that works with that, that we're connecting to. Uh, we have a visually impaired group that uh, they deal with the children that are visually impaired. Wow. And help, uh, uh, others that have lost their sight to go on. So we, we're reaching so many wow. areas. Wow, I didn't know it was that many kids that was homeless. Almost 3,000. Now that's just in the school system. That's not counting their siblings as well. The siblings. So, you wow. know, uh, yeah. So we need a lot of help out here. Man, there. and people got houses just sitting up because I'm going to be mm -hmm. talking with you about some stuff. Yeah. We need, yeah. We they need somewhere to stay yeah. Yeah. till they can get on their feet, you know. Yeah. Right, but uh, we're right, gonna have a talk right, about that. Right. But I, I just, I, I came to thank you not only pick the money up, but to thank you yeah. for helping this. The, uh, it's just a husband and a wife. And nobody will know who they are, but okay. they, they. I had took my Facebook page down good when they broke them windows in my house, trying to break in my house. Small children. It, I, I just don't want to. I, I was just done, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But when he called me and said. Yeah. Yeah. We need. They gave me your number and said they need something. And I said, well, okay, I got to get breaks anyway. I just said, I'll take a vacation day. I, I got to try to get them something to eat. So what you are providing, we don't ever tell amount. We don't tell what we get or who okay. it go to. This is okay. what we've been doing for 10 years. Yes. But, but I've been knowing Miss Care for a very long time. Right at about 10 years. I mean, you yeah. you give out shoes. Tell them about what y'all yeah. do, though. Oh, yeah. In September, we do the uh, Unity event that has gone from one day to three days now. Okay. So that is a resourceful event. It just tells all the resources that are available out here, many that are free. You know, so we and some of them be there, yeah. like the man with the oh, shower. Yes, yes he's yes. got an eighteen wheeler. Mm -hmm. It's a shower where they can yes. take showers and That's take right. baths and That's wash right. clothes, and right. and some of them get saved right there. Right. They be clean. They soul get clean and everything. That's it. That's it. Wow. Praise there's the singers that come out. You sure September. do. It be it be and, packed. Um, it's a I'm lot of tell people. You what? Florida flooded us in here last year. We have people coming from other states, other cities. Wow. In September, it's really grown, and we want to thank Mobile County yes. for all your help and support, but we do need help out here. Wow. We need your help out here. You gave out 4,000 pairs of shoes. Uh-huh. Brand uh -huh. new shoes. 
Right. Well, we give our shoes every year. We every give our year. socks uh, that are shipped in every year. Yeah, y'all can clothing. see me scared, Coach. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I got it on YouTube, and one man took off a pair of shoes, <laughs> and the guy asked him, could he have his shoes that he took off? Yeah. I, that was just amazing. Yeah. I didn't show yeah. the people that that happened. I just showed the shoes. I said, right. he left the right. shoes, and mm -hmm. he got him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Everybody was helping everybody right. that day. And, and you, you feed what? them and everything. This week, we were able, uh, with some companies around, Mm -hmm. We was able to provide, get some children up off the floor. We were able to get two twin size beds wow. and a full bed to get the children off the floor. You know, we deal with a lot of families that are in transition. Okay, they yeah. They need furniture, need bed sheets. Well, you have to call me now because I can, I can, uh, okay. I'll donate and buy some stuff okay. real cheap from Wings of Life. Right. I go to Wings of Life and get washers, dry beds, okay. whatever I need. Okay. And if I don't have it, they do donate, but I'm, I'm able to buy them okay. working over. I want to help. You yes. know, let me know yeah. if you need Where's some beds and stuff. Yeah, we, and I got to get my old school truck running good. I supposed to be picking up some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wow. we, we, we need some uh, trucks. And uh, because when I when we got the mattresses and rails and everything, I had to find trucks. Okay. okay. I got so I got to get it do, running. I have it running. Give me about a week. Us. I'm going to have okay. my old school running where okay. I can help out and, and, and pick up stuff. Because okay. this is what it's about. Sisters That's helping right. sisters That's and right. brothers helping brothers. That's and we got to get away from killing That's each right. other, Miss Care. Right. I'm, I'm just... I'm I'm just flabbergasted Amen. with babies throwing bricks in my yes, woman. I am yes. so shocked. I and I'm thinking I'm kind of winding down to who they are. I'm going to be talking to okay. some parents today. Okay. But I appreciate you. We I'm appreciate going to the you. girl. Yes. I'm go <laughs> Always doing a great job out here to educate us and let us know what's going on in the community because we need to know this. Yeah, we do. So, yes, but we are all around. We have over 15 groups that are connected with us. Wow. We're small, but we're making an impact. Out making here. an impact. We're making an impact. I, I want to thank you all for yes, what you all are doing. Yes, and uh, Miss, the other lady that do the music, what's her name? She had the second day. Oh, yes, Miss Theola Bright. Theola Bright, we want to thank her because yeah. she had the second day with right. the music and the right. praise dance and this stuff, too. Okay. So, right. both days is an event, though. Okay. I mean, because I came on a Saturday, everybody was there. Okay. Wow. Right. So, I, I'm going to promise that I'll take off this Saturday, that Saturday and be right. there. I'm okay. going to come. All right, and we have the. Uh, the convention for the uh, blind association coming in here next Wow. Month. And we need some volunteers to welcome these people in from all the other states and cities. Yeah. We need volunteers to help well, us. Well, good, wait a minute. We got to, to have the phone number, good. Yeah, yeah the phone number. <laughs> yeah, there's some folk ready to help. Yeah, Give them a phone yeah, number. 251. Seven five three six two five three. We want to help. We want to welcome our visually impaired team in here. Wow! Because I tell you what, they are faith in action. They on the move. They making a difference. The Federation for the Blind. I had them on my show. Okay. They were selling hot dogs. Jim okay. folk cooking everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, they man. man. Yeah. If I lose my eyes, I'll be about bumping in the walls. I mean, they got degrees. Oh, no. They mm -hmm. go to school, they college. Wow. That's right. So that's why they're going to be training our children come June. They're going to be dealing with the visually impaired children yeah. to uh, teach them how wow. to live day by day. So we need your help out here. Please call us, 251-753-6253. Come on, help us. Okay, just come stand on. right there. I'm going to come by and get a hug with her right quick because uh, this lady, don't move, don't move. Jazz. Look, Jazz ain't got no money. <laughs> Jazz got to run, run the camera and everything. Uh, Man, wow. We thank you for everything you do out here in this community to educate us, you know, to get us out here, you know, um, on TV. Thank you. <laughs> it takes all of us. Yeah, it does. Thank you. It does. Thank you. It does. I'm going to keep it up. I no, took right, that Facebook page did. down. I said, good. I'm so mad at <laughs> folks throwing bricks in my one and I work. No, wow. No. But it's okay. It's they did okay. Jesus worse. <laughs> They Come did our now. Lord worse, girl. I ain't worried about it. They yeah, did our Lord worse. Body. They, they we're gonna continue to work hard. Yeah, we're we are. We are. But uh, thank you all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I'm I'm headed to Coles Brown to get some dinner now. <laughs> Y'all seeing show and tell with Jazz in action with what she doing. J yeah. Jazz Red, thank you so much, Miss Carrie Coates. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, thank you. how your mom? She's doing good. I know you got her. She Girl, you got her. This yeah. a this a daughter that take care of her mother. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to help. Jazz Red, we love you. Thank the you. phone number been going across the screen since she been talking. Give Miss Carrie Coates a call. Please. Any help that you can do. I mean, just donate. Donate some time. Come on down there and meet some good people. Jazz Red, we love you. Thank Jazz Red Talk Show. We up here at E and J Auto, and uh, Jamar is here trying to see what the deal is. I got a 
Cigarette lighter won't work. Yeah, cigarette lighter that don't work. And it was my fault. He had told me to get me one of them good cigarette plug-ins for your phone. Please don't buy them dollar plug-ins. They are no good. They were wedged down in there. And he had to get that out. And I told him, just get it out. By any means necessary. So he's checking my uh, thing. But I didn't bring a phone card. I'm going to see if it didn't. Hey, you got a phone card. A regular phone card. I just want, yeah. I just wanted to check something. Oh wow, I got it. I didn't bring my charger, but we checking the fuses to make sure and when we come back he's gonna tell you all his uh phone number, address, where his business at, and everything. We'll have him in the sun then. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, give us a phone number to this business. Go ahead and come out and what was my problem? Uh what no problem. Everything was right. You had your you had your phone charger piece stuck. We are E and J Auto Repair. We are 2251 Costa Rita's telephone number 251-479-1317. We do all makes and models. Come up here and see us. Yeah, now if I had took that out to a dealership, he'd have got me. Yep, yep. He'd have got me, but Jamal ain't do me wrong. Thank you, Jamal. So y'all stay cool, stay dry. We'll yeah. see y'all soon. All right, Jazz and Red, we love you. You got me straight. I'm ready now. Peace out. Trying to get across the street It could have been me Living in the streets, y'all It could have been me With no food on my table to eat But you know what? Cause it could have been me It could have been me I really do Yes I do Cause it could have been me I got another verse Now listen It could have been me Locked up in jail Y'all It could have with no one to go my bail It could have been me I know it could have Strung out on crack cocaine, y'all It could as well have been me Shooting heroin in my mind And I stopped by to let you know Cause it could have been me I had a witness. Oh, I thank the Lord, yeah, yeah. Cause it could have been me. Every time I go down on my knees, I have to say thank you. Cause it could have been me. I got one more verse. Now listen. When the doctor shook his head, can I get me a witness? It could have been me sleeping in my grave, but Jesus stepped right in, y'all, and he made old death behave, and I come.
gonna let you know Cause it could have been me Saving me, he didn't have to do it, but I'm glad about it. Oh, I thank the Lord, yeah, yeah. Cause it could have been me. Every time I go down on my knees, I have to tell somebody it could have been me. Sometime I go in the room and fold my arm. Here's what I say. Lord, I thank you right now Have anybody ever took the time out To say, Lord, I thank you Cause you've been good to me Lord, you've been so good to me When I don't have no money in my pocket I don't let it bother me because the Lord said he'll work it out for me. I knew he will. Have anybody been lonely tonight? The Lord said he'll be a company keeper for you in a lonely hour.